Okay, next thing I want to show you is the kneaded eraser. So I'm going to use my compressed charcoal down here and I want to get a super dark area. So I'm going to hatch one way. So with the hatching, your lines will start to naturally kind of blend out. Whereas if I was coloring back and forth, my directions wouldn't necessarily stop and end at the same point having a less consistent ground for your charcoal. As you can see charcoal is a bit messy. You'll find yourself doing that, blowing it off, um, which is also good to kind of be conscious of where your hands are because you can see they get, a, they get a bit dirty and you don't want to spread that all over. So we'll actually use a piece of tissue under your hand so you don't spread the charcoal on your drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this with my my tissue. So again, I'm finding a nice clean spot. This one I don't really have to if I wanted to leave it dark. But I'm going to blend it out. Try to get some more than one tone in there. And then I'm going to go back in with my charcoal pencil. And create some of those darker tones. So you can always use more than one tool to get to the tone you want. And again, I'm creating this dark tone in layers, layer after layer after layer. Okay, but now I found that I went too dark, so I need to take some of the some of the darkness away. That's where your kneaded eraser comes in. So you can kind of make it into whatever shape you think is going to work best for you and just start picking up that charcoal. And then you can knead it into the eraser. So you can see here, stretch it out, knead it. And I can go back in and pick up a lot of charcoal with this. So this is again good for taking things down another tone. You can even see that now my paper has been a bit colored from all the charcoal use and I'm actually getting to even a lighter gray than the paper almost where the paper started out with. And then again I can go in with my blender pencil and soften all those edges out. So take a minute to practice these different tools and techniques. You have your kneaded eraser, your blender stick, this thing, a paintbrush, a um, compressed charcoal, a vi a com compressed charcoal, a vine charcoal, and a charcoal pencil. One more thing that we're going to use is a, we do have white charcoal pencil for the end of your drawing. So um, it's nice to keep a pencil sharpener by your workstation because you're going to always want to have nice fresh pencils. So here's a little added highlight. Since we are using toned paper, the white just gives us one more opportunity to make those highlights pop. Okay.